the Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us that prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to God, or the requesting of good things from God, and that God tirelessly calls each person to this mysterious encounter with himself. Prayer unfolds throughout the whole history of salvation as a reciprocal call between God and man. It is the fervent prayer of the Knights of Columbus and the Archdiocese of Nassau that these general prayers of the Church will encourage you to frequently place your needs before the Lord. We begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us now seek divine intervention for our special intentions. They reflect issues of major concern of the faith community, the nation, and indeed the whole world. The chosen prayers are for the family, the church, protection from hurricanes, protection during the coronavirus pandemic, and for our earth. We now offer prayers for special intentions. A prayer for the family. Lord God, from you every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. Father, you are love and a life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, born of woman, and through the Holy Spirit, fountain of divine charity, grant that every family on earth may become for each successive generation a true shrine of life and love. Grant that your grace may guide the thoughts and actions of husbands and wives for the good of their families and all of the families in the world. Grant that the young may find in the family solid support for their human dignity and for their growth in truth and love. Grant that love, strengthened by the grace of the sacrament of marriage, may prove mightier than all the weakness and trials through which our families sometimes pass. Through the intercession of the Holy Family of Nazareth, grant that the Church may fruitfully carry out her worldwide mission in the family and through the family, through Christ our Lord, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. We now pray for the church. Heavenly Father, look upon our community of faith, which is the church of your Son, Jesus Christ. Help us to witness to his love by loving all our fellow creatures without exception. Under the leadership of the Holy Father and the bishops, keep us faithful to Christ's mission of calling all men and women to your service so that there may be one fold and one shepherd. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Hurricane Protection Lord Jesus Christ, Creator and Lord of the universe. You have set the earth on its foundation. All elements of nature obey your command. While on earth, you kept safe your apostles from perishing in the storm by calming the wind and wave on your command. We humbly beseech you, our precious Lord, to protect us from the unpredictable elements of nature. Keep us safe during hurricane season and give us the favorable weather. Please help us to calm all the storms of life that threatens us, most especially 
from the destruction of hurricanes. Please help us to remain safe in your refuge and be grateful for all you have done for us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Prayer for protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, at the foot of the cross you participated in Jesus' pain. With steadfast faith, you, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that, as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our suffering upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. A prayer for the earth. All-powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain at the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love, and peace. Amen. Our faith teaches us that the saints are the witnesses who have preceded us into the kingdom and that we should ask them to intercede for us and the whole world. Let us pray for the intercession of our guardian angel, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, St. Vincent de Paul, and St. Robert Bellamine. These intercessions are followed by a prayer before the crucifix and the Psalms 121. We pray now for the intercessions of the angels and saints. Prayer to your guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer is to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, 
who wander through the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Prayer to Saint Gabriel. O blessed Archangel Gabriel, we beseech thee, do thou intercede for us at the throne of divine mercy in our present necessities, that as thou didst announce to Mary the mystery of the Incarnation, so through thy prayers and patronage in heaven, we may obtain the benefits of the same and sing the praise of God forever in the land of the living. Amen. A prayer to Archangel Raphael. O glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court. You are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask of you the favor and the great grace of purity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to St. Vincent de Paul. Noble St. Vincent de Paul, beloved servant of the poor, may we follow your example and do good works among those whom society has abandoned, enslaved or forgotten. Inspire us to feed the hungry, to love a child, to provide comfort and medicine to the sick, to clothe those whose garments are threadbare, and to offer hope and our Lord's word to all who need respite. Pray for us to our beloved God, that we may commit ourselves selflessly to doing the same charitable acts that you did all your life, and intercede with him that we may have the favor of his guidance and strength and love upon this important and meaningful work. Amen. A prayer to St. Robert Bellarmine. God our Father, you gave Robert Bellarmine wisdom and goodness to defend the faith of your church by his prayers. May we always rejoice in the profession of our faith. Amen. Prayer before the crucifix. Behold, O good and sweetest Jesus, I cast myself upon my knees in thy sight and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee to impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true repentance for my sins, and a most firm purpose of amendment, whilst with deep affection and grief of soul, I consider within myself and mentally contemplate the five most precious wounds, having before my eyes that which David, the prophet, long ago spoke in thy own person concerning thee, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Psalms 121 I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. 
The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. One of the defining characteristics of the Knights of Columbus is its members' deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. Every knight receives a rosary when he joins the order and is encouraged to turn to Mary as his own mother so that she may lead him closer to her son. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exiles show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O oh, sweet Virgin Mary. Our concluding prayer. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.